Even though Thanksgiving has been over for a little while, that still doesn't mean that there isn't things to be thankful for. Like Neo Chair and Marvel for this awesome Spider-Man Miles Morales gaming chair that was given to me by them to review for you guys. It is the perfect compliment to enjoy playing some Miles Morales on PS4 or PS5. This chair is an amazing chair, and it's kind of funny how things work out considering that my older chair, well, it was clearly in need of a changing out. From what you guys can see visually, this is an immaculate looking chair with a black and red carbon leather finish that's resistant to stains and the like. It's as good looking as it is good feeling, as the seating part of the chair also comes with some high density molded foam around a steel frame which ensures that comfort is always to be had. And to be honest, it kind of seems like it was the priority given a lot of the features that the chair comes with, but we'll get to that in a little bit. I have tested this chair rather vigorously over the last week and a half that I've had it during my holiday break, and can wholeheartedly tell you that this foam is the real deal. It is extremely cushiony, with no give, and after sitting on what feels like a rock for several years, this was an amazing contrast to feel. You guys don't know the power of a good cushion until you sit on one. Setup for the chair is also relatively simple, and I do enjoy the instructions being modeled in comic book form for that vintage Marvel feel. Stuff like this is minor, but I really appreciate the little things as it's totally on brand. As long as you follow the instructions, you should be good to go. The chair is roughly about 50 pounds though, so be warned it is a little bit on the heftier side, and for someone who can't currently lift due to my injury, I am extremely thankful for my brother's assistance on this. The chair is a gas-powered chair with some good height to it, and allows you to get pretty low too, and it also never feels like the pump is ever devoid of power, which is also another good thing, and moving up and down is never met with the sudden and abrupt stops that a lot of other gas-powered chairs have, so this is also another positive for this chair. Another awesome feature are the armrest itself, which while they do the standard stuff like adjustable height, which can be done by a lever press underneath the armrest itself, they can also turn in and out from the chair with a simple push, giving you the option to freely customize them for your comfort without the hassle of having to disassemble things or jump through hoops in order to get it to your preference. The chair also reclines to roughly about 180 degrees, though I've gotten it a little bit farther but wouldn't suggest laying on it that way. And it also comes with a footrest that allows you to nap if that's something you're comfortable doing on the chair, which, given the level of comfort from the cushion and the two pillows, one of which I'll get to next, I would not blame you at all for doing so. The footrest, however, is a little bit on the shorter side for my liking. As someone who's roughly about 6 feet tall, this feels small, especially if you're not using it for laying down, but rather sitting up. Pulling out the footrest is relatively simple though. Just reach underneath your chair, pull out towards your legs, and then flip the pillow toward the chair. Oh, and be careful pulling up the recliner. This chair has a really strong spring, and if you're not careful, it can whack you in the back of the head pretty hard. As mentioned earlier, the headrest pillow is pretty comfy and soft, with a nice Marvel logo on it to boot, but the lumbar pillow is the pillow that I really enjoy. It's got some issues, but we'll get there. As most of you know, I work full-time for the United States Postal Service and am constantly bending over using my lower back to reach things, inserting mails in door slots, picking up parcels, and the works. And even though I've been out on injury for the last several years, there's still a lot of wear and tear in my body from several years of hard work with minimal rest. This lumbar pillow may seem like any other lower back pillow, but what separates this from some of the others is the fact that it doubles as a massage pillow and a pretty decent one to boot. It's USB powered, so it's easily plugged into any of your consoles or computers, and it's pretty consistent too no matter how much time you've had it plugged in and running for. It's easily turned on by a simple button on the USB cord itself, and turned off the same way. A couple of drawbacks to this, however, are that it can be pretty loud, and if you have a sensitive mic, it's definitely going to get picked up on it while you're gaming with friends with the massager on. Yeah, I'm on my way. The other main issue that I have with it is the pillow is non-adjustable. You can move it around freely, yes, as nothing is tying it down into one place per se, but if you want the pillow at a certain location on your back, and for it to stay there, you have to manually move it and lean against it, otherwise it's just going to slide back down. It's a bit of a compromise for sure, but if you're crafty enough, you can buy yourself a few straps and pretty much alleviate this issue really easily. Overall, I really love this chair. It's got a sleek visual appeal, super comfy cushions, and a massage pillow all of quality with an official Marvel licensed hero on it to boot. Despite a few kinks here and there, the pros of this chair vastly outweigh the cons, and considering the price point of some of the other chairs out there of similar build, including some premium tier ones, this one, given the price, is well worth the money being asked for you to spend on it. 
I'll be providing links down below in the description to both NeoChair's website and the Amazon link of which you can get this particular chair if it interests you. Or if you want to get it further down along the line, or maybe for somebody for Christmas, you know, stuff of that nature. I wish I could give you guys discount codes, but I'm not there yet. Maybe in the future, though. Nonetheless, let me know in the comments if you guys end up getting this chair, or if you like stuff like this. Until then, I'll catch you guys on the next review.